hi guys and girls so as you may see already i decided to continue with cordova um, so in this short video we will prepare everything to you know create a cordova build for our existing single page application that we've created within the past video using angular cli and i will split the cordova stuff into three videos so in the first one i will you know explain what you need to get cordova up and running and i will prepare our existing project to um, have everything um, in the right place to have a yeah a seamless integration into the cordova platform okay so if you haven't done any cordova stuff until now you need to um, install all the SDKs and tools in order to build a Cordova app for a given platform. Um, Cordova is offering something called platform guides for all the different platforms you can target. So if you are interested in doing uh, in building Android applications, you have to walk through the platform guide for Android. The same applies for iOS, for Windows, UWP and so on and so on. But there are some restrictions. You are only allowed to build iOS applications if you have Apple hardware. On the other side, you are only allowed to build Windows UWP apps if you have a Windows operating system that could be in a, in a virtual machine that, that could be on the bare metal, but you need Windows running somewhere to build the Windows UWP apps. Android is the only platform or Android is the only major mobile platform that you can build on any system because Android apps are written using Java and Cordova always generates a native project that has to be compiled and has to be published to the corresponding platform. So at some point you will, you know, find your way through those platform guides, install all the bits and bytes and you will end up with having a system that's ready to um, do Cordova development. Okay, so but let's let's get started. Let's create a new a new feature and call it Cordova Prepare. And first of all, I would like to add a surrounding uh, node project like a package JSON um, to have some dependency being installed in a top level directory that, that makes a few things easier like building the application from the root directory and maintaining um, yeah dependencies that we may need in multiple or at multiple places right so let's init a new npm and it will end up with a package JSON file in our root directory. So if I move that over here, you see there is right now a package JSON file right here. I've already installed Cordova in my in on my uh, in my project scope because I'm currently in a hotel and the Wi-Fi really really sucks. So it takes several minutes to to pull down Cordova from npm right here in uh, by using that bad connection. But it's generally speaking, it's just npm e cordova dash dash save dev to, to get it installed as a development dependency. Besides Cordova, I'm also using shell.js. If you don't know shell.js, it's just a node.js wrapper for native or for shell scripts that we all or perhaps most of you know from Ubuntu or from any Linux distribution or from OS X. Um, so you can write node.js scripts uh, and it feels like doing some kind of you know terminal stuff. So let's add that one. Um, that shouldn't take that long and package JSON will be updated in a few seconds and list shell.js right here underneath dev dependencies. So shell.js has installed and as you can see shell.js is right now listed right here. So let's provide a short um, our cross platform sample description to get rid of the warning that you saw in the terminal perhaps that says hey no description found. Um, for Cordova I've already installed it so let's update uh, the dev dependencies manually. 
um, but it should should be everything should should be right up automatically if you install callaway using npm install callaway dash dash save dev okay so that's everything we need to change uh, to have those dependencies being in, in a top level directory um, we have created our angular single page application in source client in the previous video and by default angular CLI is configured to put the build to a subfolder called dist. So, but we don't want that. We want um, the, the, the compiled application to be in a top level dist directory and also being scoped to the platform. Like this one is for web. So the, the regular build will be for the web platform. So let's do some small changes to angular cli.json where we can configure in uh, by using easy configuration strings the how webpack will build the app so it should build the angular single page application to this slash web and let's give that a try let's go to source forward slash client and let's execute ng build okay while um, webpack is taking care about building the single page application uh, let's add our first script in the in the surrounding node project, which uh, which is named build dash web, because we don't want to you know go into source client and execute ng build. We can do that from the top level by just saying hey go inside of source client and execute, or let's do it. Uh, in a way that it also works on Windows. Let's go source, let's go to the client and let's execute from the npm build folder. Let's execute um, ng build and let's go after that has finished two folders up. So we have a build script right now. And as you can see, in the meantime, Webpack has finished and it put our single patch application inside of the inside of the dist web folder. That's cool. So there's one other step that I want to do as a preparation in one single thing that we want to change. By default, Angular CLI is, or Angular 2 in, in common, is using the so-called path location strategy. Path location strategy means that routes are being represented by or are started with a leading forward slash, right? So this has this works for um, when, when you use the Webpack dev server, when you use, for example, light server, but that will not work on platforms like Cordova or within the within Electron application. If you want to use um, dynamic path resolution, um, for example, by using Angular Router, um, you have to use the so-called hash location strategy. And it always applies to Angular projects that if there is an abstract implementation like location strategy in this case, and a concrete implementation like path location strategy, there may be an alternative implementation, like in our case, the hash location strategy. So you could uh, tell or instruct Angular which one it should use by configuring Angular dependency injection. And that's pretty, pretty easy. That said, um, path location strategy comes with another restriction. If you use path location strategy, you have to specify the base URL by using the base tag in your index.html, which is already been generated by the CLI. But as soon as we move to the as we move to the uh, hash location strategy, this one um, could be removed easily. So let's remove the base URL for now, and let's go to our Angular module. So underneath my nodes there is a modules folder and there's our app module 
And configuring Angular DI dependency injection is pretty simple. You just have to specify if someone requests a provider called location strategy, please use the following class as the concrete implementation. By default, it's, it's returning path location strategy, but we want to use hash location strategy. So um, we have to import those two types, of course, and they were both exported by the Angular common module. So let's say location strategy from Angular common. Okay, so that's it. So we changed our app from the default path location strategy to hash location strategy. Oh, there's one typo. So there is a, have to be a comma right here, of course. So let's use that one, a comma over here, and let's move back to our console and execute the build to kick in the the webpack build for our single page application and see if the changes that we did um, are working as expected. Okay, webpack has finished. Let's go to our dist slash web folder and let's start a small HTTP server. And here we are, our app still works, so everything is prepared and in the next video, we will use Cordova to create the mobile app for our single page application. I hope you enjoyed it and I promise that the next video will be online in, in almost no time. So give me an hour or two and the, up, the next video will be published on YouTube. If you, if you haven't done yet, please clone the repository. So the URL is linked below and subscribe to my channel to get instantly notified as soon as a new video on this series will be published. Thanks for watching.